Hey, what's going on everybody? Brando free to play back on my free to play account. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the new monster and uh, not necessarily the new monster, but the new gear set from the new monster that IGG has uh, kind of just released on us. Um, there was no like sort of an update. It just kind of showed up. And uh, this kind of falls in line with the hoop claw, you know, the cottage roar. And uh, this is going to be called the Tusker set. All right. So let's go ahead and let's take a little bit of a dive into what this set is. So this is mainly for cavalry, right? We've already seen that the cottage roar is for infantry and the hoop claw was mainly for range and also some cav, right? So the Tusker set, it looks, just by the looks of it, is all cav. So let's go ahead and talk about some of these pieces. So we have the armor, which if we look at it, at mythic grade is gonna give us 12.6% cav attack, 9.8% cav defense, and 15.4% cav max HP. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this is a free-to-play achievable armor. But let's go ahead and let's try to compare this with different armors, right, that uh, free-to-play can use that may primarily focus on cav attack. All right. So, this is 12.6% cav attack. Which, calf set by itself, this is probably the better free to play set, free to play chess piece, if you're just looking at calf specific stats. Now, there is another chess piece that free to play can get, which is army attack. Now, Army attack is 7%, but you have, to, you have to remember that army attack applies to all troop types. So 7 times 3, that's 21% stats. That's, that's how you got to look at army stats, okay? You have to apply to all three of your troop types. So, you know, for a mix set, the armor of the abyss is still going to be better than this uh, new Cavs uh, armor that uh, came out. And uh, it's going to be better than the brass armor. But if you're looking for a Cav Blast or a Cav only type of, an, of, of, a, of a set, free to play wise, this might be good. But before I give my good recommendation, let's take a look at the Firewall Plate and the Hardened Carapace. All right. Mainly because at green grade, yes, they give 9% cav attack and 7.5% respectively, you know, between the firewall and the carapace. And at blue grade, it is at 14% and 11.5. So a blue firewall chest plate already gives you more cav attack stats all right, cavalry attack stats than a mythic brass armor. So again, this armor, I personally would not recommend it. You can work on it, feel free to do so, but try to get, excuse me, the firewall chest plate mainly because of that army max HP, which if you're a free to play player, you want a mix set and you want as much army HP as you can. All right. Just my opinion, you know, just telling it how I see it. Now, the next thing we have here is the Mammoth Waste Guard. Uh, so just by looking at this, this is kind of a subpar uh, piece, uh, legs. Um, if I'm not mistaken, the Gargantua uh, belt or whatever it's called is already better in a lot of respects But uh, let's just go ahead and compare just to Just to show you guys. Yeah, gargantuan belt 
52.5% at Mythic. That is just an insane amount of cav attack. And yeah, these uh, these new pants only give 24.4. So yeah, the pants, I'm, I'm not even going to give it any more time. They're absolute crap. Now, the main hand, the Eon Axe. This is the, uh, the big boy axe. It is a cavalry attack stat of 52.5% cav attack. Now this is going to be mainly for those cav blasts, for those rally leads out there. But some of you guys are kind of drooling at this. But before I get too ahead of myself, let's compare it to other um, main hand weapons. So for, for uh, Frostwing Greatsword, only 28%. The Horn Crudgel is 42% cav attack. That is considerably lower. The Kraken Anchor, 35%. Again, also very much lower than this new axe that has come out. Now, this is 52.5. So if we look at the Cav, uh, or the Champion Set, the Champion Set is 49%. Because you gotta add cavalry attack plus 21% army attack. So it's 28 plus 21, that's 49, right? 49% attack on the champion greatsword. Champion edge is gonna beat it because it has 49% cav attack and 21% army attack. So that's gonna give you a grand total of 70% overall stats. So still, the champion gear is going to be best in slot for Cav Blasts, right? But if you're just looking at getting the cavalry stat as high as possible, ignoring army attack, the Cav, you know, the Eon Axe is probably what you're going to want to go for. But again, champ gear is still the best in slot for a lot of these blasts, all right? But this is obviously going to be much, much, much cheaper to get than the Champion Edge. Just by looking at the amount of embers that you need. 24 for the Champion Edge compared to 5 for the Eon Axe. Just that alone is, is like ridiculously, ridiculously cheaper. Alright? And you lose, what, 18% stats? Or I don't know, a couple grand less. It's up to you guys. You guys are the ones spending the money. I don't. So <laughs> you guys let me know what you guys think about that. I'm just telling you guys how I see it. And the last one is uh, an accessory. So let's take a look at this accessory. This accessory gives you 35% cavalry attack. Again, primarily focused for those cav blasts. Now this does require nine of the ultra rare, you know, these uh, Tusker's Rage material. All right, so let's go ahead and let's compare that to other, uh, other accessories. Now for a long time, the Fear Drum has been the go-to accessory for Cavalry Blasts with only 22.4% Cav Attack. Now, I know that infantry and range, they have the cups that could go insanely high, how much higher um, in, in those stats, especially in the accessories. But now, um, you know, these guys, they have this 35% stat, right? Now, the champion accessories also give you what that's uh five 35 percent uh overall cav attack right and 35 percent army max hp now i think that army max hp is what gives the champion accessories that edge over almost every single other accessory that is out there right 
because if you look at the Rowdy Resolve, which is the new accessory that IGG came out with, it will only give you 14% cavalry HP. That is 14% cavalry HP only. Compare that to the champion's 35% army HP. So that's 35% times 3. Alright, so 35%, if you're going cav blast specific, that's 35% compared to 14. That is a lot. That's like 21% difference in HP. Same attack, 21% uh, less army HP or less HP in general, right? So again, it is noticeably cheaper. This, the champion gear, 14 mains and 41 embers. And this one, only nine of the ultra rares and six gold embers to get to mythic. So obviously this is gonna give you Probably the most bang for your buck if you want to look at it like that. You're not going to compete with the top end spenders, but at the same time, you are going to have very, very high cav attack stats for a considerable less amount of spend. So, yeah. Um, overall, I really do think that the main hand and the accessory are probably the two best uh cav non-champ again non-champ gear in the game right if champion gear was not even in the picture these would probably be some of the best items to have for cavalry attacks now because there is champ gear champ gear is obviously the best and i think igg kind of screwed themselves in a way to make champ gear the best and everything else that comes after that has to be slightly less effective than champ gear than you know what whatever they come up with in the future unless they come out with champion gear 2.0 or some shit like that but we never know right and when it comes to the legs it's absolute dog shit don't even don't even consider it don't look at it they're just they, they even look ugly um the brass armor while it is a Decent, um, decent enough free to play cav set, right? The a saving up for a blue firewall chest plate is probably gonna be better for you in the long run than trying to get the brass armor to mythic. So, I do not recommend that brass armor for people to try to make. So yeah, um, the next video I'm going to be making is going to be talking about the new monster. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and until next time guys, see ya.